Perhaps I played this series a little too well. Maybe I got too caught up in the Imperial side of things, a little too esoteric, a little too high on my own supply, and went a little crazy with building monuments and honorable rooms. Maybe instead of the original focus of making an high Stellark, I got a little bit caught up on them. Um, Vanity projects, let's call them. We've had a long and sordid career of building ridiculous structures, keeping things nicely on theme, making sure everybody has their own dedicated throne room and sub-faction. But I think it's finally time for that countdown to and becoming High Stellark. At long last. Hi, good Rim Rim friends. In fact, before we begin, I need to do a public service announcement. Everybody and their mother asks me many times on a daily basis, where do these very fancy, very lovely carpet borders come from? And the answer is the LTS furnishing mod. Same mod that adds uh, the arches and some of the doors I use and a lot of the decoration, to be honest. It's a very, it's a very nice mod. And I get it. These do look fantastic, don't they? By the time I'd finished editing yesterday's episode, I realized that all I did yesterday was a lot of base management, hence why a lot of the episode yesterday was just those raids. There was a lot of optimization. There was a lot of tidying up things I'd neglected yesterday that ultimately didn't make for the most entertaining experience. I couldn't have 30 minutes of me laying pipe. Or at least not on YouTube, I couldn't. Terrible. It's <laughs> the worst thing I've ever said. So, ah, and right on cue brings me to something I'm about to talk about. Um, we've connected up every single bed, most death rest caskets, to the, the, the central nutrient paste and hemogen grid. Oscar, have you stolen one of the guards' armor? Oh, I, I'm going to execute you. I'm going to execute him. I'm sorry. This is it. Spent hours of my usual recording time yesterday laying pipes across the entire base, building fire foam poppers on every single flat surface, building a damn enormous pyramid. There wasn't really much happening, so to that avail, between yesterday's episode and now, I've done one or two things to help speed us up today to Anne's final greatness, her ascension to High Stella. Firstly, I've emptied the prison, because that was really, really terrible. That was just the worst experience of my life. I also had to buy like three extra new trainings to finish the final cryo reactors, so that's all up and the power grid is better than ever. And the big, boring task I did between episodes was reorganizing every single one of the settlements so that we have one for every Every single skill in the game. Cooking, plants, animals, shooting, everything. Every single one of the base game skills has a different city associated with it, except for one. And that's because I had to steal one of our researchers for what I have been talking about for days now. My favorite of all the settlements. You son of a bitch. How did I not add that up correctly? What? Artistic. Artistic five? Artistic five, that's 10. That's 18. What the hell are you? Oh, I need four more artistic. God damn you, that was going to be my great reveal. Four artistic, look. Steinke the orphan, my friend. Congratulations, you are freed. I mean, I put everybody where they had passions for it, so they're probably quite upset that I'm moving them out of the mining camp to go and work at the circus. Finally, at long last, one of my stupid long-term plans are complete. Wandering Circus. And if there is any debate that I am not the good guy, it quite clearly says here that they are willing to join the outpost, or at least three of them are. <laughs> Probably not the person I dragged from the mining camp they were very happy at. Boom. Oh, 1,500 silver every three days. Thank you, Circus. Ah, don't do that. No. Since when can they go through mountains? That's new and interesting, isn't it? Oh, that's a lot of fun. Please don't destroy any more of my turrets. Why? My fire foam poppers. I've only just built those. Oh, for fuck's sake. What are you doing? <gasps> Don't you go near my pyramid. I, you better turn around, though. It's, it's actually been lining it right for my pyramid. Is that... You turn around. <sighs> hey. Okay, this isn't bad at all. I can, I can do this. Duchess throws as neighbor of the... Good lord above. Could you just be called Keith? Of the Shattered Empire needs people to help negotiate with the tribe. She wants four colonists, 13 years old or older, to serve for eight days. Um, Tumuki, what's going on? Tumuki, where's your hair? Oh, there's your hair. What? <laughs> That's also legendary, the fact that they sat at computer desks reading a book. Wow. God, do you remember those times? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, uh, I want to accept with Anne, but obviously I don't want to send Anne. She's got way too much to do. She's got to sit in a throne all day and think about things. Now, look, I'm not I'm not going to be building anything for a while. So, like, Toongi can go, I think. Actually, some people need death rest. I'm going to use big brain time and send the ones that need death rest. 
because right now they're running up 50 percent uh efficiency while they've got that exhaustion going so that would just make them someone else's problem hey where's the shuttle though hello oh here we go hey there how are you doing uh Tungi, get in who else needs death rest volka well i mean we're not exactly doing any research right now are we i don't think there's any left basroso lilu Tungi, mona petty pois you know what let's send some muscle Mona and Petit Pois. There you go. So, uh, Grouse and Traybar are, well, there are, there are seedlings. They're going to be the, the brand new panlings very, very soon. Still waiting on the seed cooldown from Mona to implant into Grouse. And then Mabre, I, uh, of course, with a super high melee skill, I was going to add to Bo Woman's faction. But I love the idea of her being, like, like the Malachi mutated Strigoi. Having everyone else be Strigoi while the Pharaoh's Malachi seems kind of cool. Oh, there he is. Don't really work with this armor. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a King Cobra flaring its hood. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a much better idea. Spooky little snake bat vampire Egyptian vampires in space. You know, very fine, refined theme. You're doing great work. Uh, ooh. Oh, wait. But you were here as a Strigoi. You haven't been bitten. How odd. Okay, live your life, I suppose. All right, fine. I guess we won't worry about it. Any building we need to do, we've got enough people with construction skill. So, uh, Tomboy needs a throne. Okay, we'll solve that in a second. It doesn't need, like, a particular floor or anything like that. It's just a throne. Mona, to become Baroness, needs a fine floor in here. Okay. I've got our plants uh, outpost on wood production. Obviously, you don't get wood every, you know, five days or whatever. Not since Her Majesty Elizabeth II died, at least in my experience. Uh, what do you mean Shuttle arrived? Oh, you mean that was the one from the quest. Shuttle left, I understand. Okay, and then she needs a couple of drapes, and we got shit loads of cloth. And a harpsichord. We had a harpsichord. What did we do with it? Did I take it apart? Maybe I uninstalled it. Harp. Harp. <laughs> can you tell it's 2 a.m.? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to get ahead of schedule a little bit so I can finish building this freaking office. We've got to do six hours worth of work at 2 a.m. so that I can do eight hours worth of work at 9 a.m. Light, late night, Rim Rim. Really, really makes me feel very sane and normal. Um, what was I looking for? Harpsichord. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> um... I mean, I could dedicate some of the hydroponics to wood production, but it's so friggin' slow. And with this permanent winter, we haven't had any wood in ages. I feel like one day it became winter, and then it never stopped being winter. Am I wrong? Oh, we got sunblocker. Bruh. There's me wondering why no trees are growing. We've had a sunblocker active for like four years. Ah, oh, these things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, does that mean if we caravan out? No, because I've done it before, right? We can caravan to, like, here and cut some trees down, even though it's in the sunblocker's radius. I'm just going to send people to go get some wood. Send the carryall. Oh, God, that's scary. Hello. How are you doing? I don't really like feeling like I've got an audience watching me, which is terribly ironic, all things considered. This is scary as hell. I want to shrink them down a little bit. I feel like I'm face-to-face -face with facets of myself. Oh, some facets, anyway. Like the sexy shirtless cat boy. All right, which one of you's got the carryall in your pocket? And put that down. What have I told you? Just shy of about 2,000 wood in total, completely filling up the carryall. You got the harps core going. I don't know if it would be enough to finish the throne room, though, because these bloody floors are so expensive. Oh, actually, they're not that bad. I think that should last as well. We should be good. We're probably also going to have to, like, fine tile a bedroom, too, which is quite annoying. What the hell is that? <laughs> Somebody suggested in the comments. Instead of having lots of super soldiers all in cataract armor or whatever, we have one werewolf that we outfit like crazy because they've got all these bonuses, tough skin, werewolf fangs, clawed hand. The sun is blocked, so I don't know if they transform based on daylight or, or just or just time of day. All right, time of day will make more sense. Otherwise, when they go indoors, they turn into a wolf, which wouldn't be super co convenient unless you... You know, I had wolf things you needed to do. Puzzles, your necky, wacky. I mean, you know, you get it. Uh, I think... I can't convert you. Why can't I convert you? Hello? Release, image and palm. Whoa. Oh, because I haven't got warden? That's definitely not the case. I don't know. You're part of a quest. Oh, ignore me. <laughs> we do have a werewolf. Of course, they are, however, at the werewolf circus. So, I don't really want to bring them back. 
Otherwise, it kind of ruins the name, doesn't it? Or maybe it makes it even better, because then people are like, why is it called the Werewolf Circus? It could be a big mystery. It's absolutely fantastic. And the Werewolf isn't even performing at the Werewolf Circus. They're dying from hypothermia. Well, I've convinced myself, and go pick up this werewolf. i got a whole collection of Ionics I can put to work for this, so this is fine. Oh! oh I'm, never gonna, I'm never gonna remember them. I'm never going to remember them. It's so many buttons on the bar. Shit! I need some sort of, like, notification at the side. Permits available. To be fair, I think there is in the base game. I just disabled it for performance. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to take... What's a werewolf called? Hello? Werewolf friend Sparky. Sparky the werewolf sounds like a fierce more. And I said, Bowman, a Bowman, could sit on her throne and say, I'll release the hounds. And out would come, like, a mecha werewolf. That's a cool concept I don't think I've done before. Legitimately one of the one of the only two remaining concepts I haven't ever done in RimWorld. What was he, what was he called again? And Glitter Road? What the fuck's happening? Werewolf God, though. Oh, Sparky, I remember now. I've... Look, listen. Listen. It's been, a, it's been a weird week. It's been a weird week. Operation. Release the hounds. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, my friend. I mean, I could put you in cataphract armor. An enormous werewolf in cataphract armor might look amazing. I've been building them for uh, Bo Woman Squad because I mean, look at the look at the match on that—they look incredible. Simultaneously, this could also look pretty pretty good though. Oh, oh God, that's got threatening energy, hasn't it? <laughs> for Sparky Sparks, ooh, what's that one? <gasps> that Prestige Marine armor looks better. Oh, but yeah, but I want it to be like a big spooky warrior. But that also looks really cool. It's a bit more unique, isn't it? Oh, okay, fine. I'll give you that one. It's a slight downgrade. It won't make that much of a difference. We'll give him stone skin gland and all sorts. You're also a big werewolf. Oh, shit. We need to convert you over as well. Oh, a xenotype. That's a xenotype. Cool. Tough skin cannibal. Half Jotun frame pounce. Characters of this gene can pounce on prey. Oh, that's fun. So they make a very good melee character, much like Mona, Pierpos, etc. You know, the only ones that can't naturally jump. Very strong unarmed. Melee damage factor up by 175%. Oh, so we should give you, like, power arms. Oh, but you got clawed, clawed, clawed hands. Ooh, no, I think power arms would be a lot better. Werewolf <laughs> snoot. Oh. No, a volcanic winter. Now my plants won't grow because of the lack of sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be freezing cold, isn't it? Oh, that's quite nice. That's very picturesque. Such a nice scene, isn't it? A lovely Rimworld Vista. It makes me feel real cozy. Ready for... Ready for Christmas to happen. <laughs> I'm saving up some Arco limbs, and I'm not going to lie to you. I want to give it to the big... Oh, you've already got a knee spike. That's cool. Um, So hang on. The, the, the clawed hands. What, what's your melee DPS? Because surely the power arms have got to be better, and they sound cooler. Melee damage factor 175%. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, Melee DPS. 14.82. This guy's like twice as strong as a thrombo. Jesus. Oh, my God. Um, melee damage average attacks 35.46. I think a power arm is better. Arcotech leg. Ooh. Oh, I've got all those ultra bionics as well, haven't I? Learning assistant, and I'm going to lock it in a room, and I'm going to force it to learn every melee technique you've ever seen. We're going to give it a pain stopper. We've got power claws. Power claws or power arms? Power claws sound better for a werewolf. You can have two of those. Stone skin gland. Absolutely. Ultra tech arms. Ultra tech ears, because you're a wolf. I mean, that makes sense. Eyes, heart, spine, stomach. Oh, God. Venom fangs in the jaw. I think werewolf fangs are cooler. Oh, Pharaoh and Bowman stuff is done. Oh, look at this. Bowman. Bowman, come stand here. Why is Mabre so enormous? Super immune. Brave. Well, you're massive. Why are you so enormous compared to normal people? Oh, are you just small? Oh, you are. Literally. Ah, oh, well, that explains it then. This is a trick of a perspective. That is Bowman shrunk? I feel like I'm going mad. I don't really know. I don't really know what's happening anymore. I've been so hungry, you've just eaten the the packaging and the string. What's wrong with you? Who the hell is York? Because my alcohol blackout 58 hours. <laughs> it's the Alpha Beaver. <laughs> Oh, no one tell the Stella, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, the beaver got brain damage from alcohol. <laughs> oh, God. York was acting so strange when they turned up. I I hope hope nothing bad happened on the trip here. <laughs> <laughs> Just take care of your favorite pet, the alpha beaver York. 
Must be kept in bed. Yeah, it's always the paralytic of Beijing. It never, it was gotten so worse since poor York got here. And that's so funny. I don't know what bug that is. It's the same bug that made, uh, was it Lilo and Avalka? Just neck like a thousand psychite tea over and over and over. It's when they don't have nutrition. They just see, search, search for anything they can eat or drink or put in their stupid beaver. God damn you, that put tears in my eyes. God damn beaver. It always gets me every time the animals get so drunk in this game. I don't know what it is. I mean, it was horrifying monsters last series and now it's a little beaver. It's just they're all unified by the same love of a tremendous amount of alcohol and drugs. Jesus Christ, look at the size of that shield belt. I'm doing the architect surgery first with just regular medicine, but honestly, Aloe's got 20, uh, sorry, 18 medical and 20 surgery. 105% surgery success chance. Again, that doesn't guarantee success unless it's because it's like a really hard surgery with only 25% success rate. Will it be a 50%? Because that's what maths is. Except that other 5% that I forgot about. Funnily enough, one of the few things I do want to build that's that, that's kind of left over is some sort of learning center. Because not only are we going to get the little 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 pea boys, little, little pea fellas. What the fuck are you doing in the freezer? Oh, well, little pea fellas. Um, this guy's about to burst any second. And we're going to put them in a maturation chamber. So I have to build one of those. And we'll also need a school. So I guess I'll spin it off of here. Not, not necessarily a school, but somewhere for learning. Because I want Anne to hit 20 in every skill. And she's doing pretty well. That's just like passive learning from a throne and the the other projections. But I do think we'll need some sort of like dedicated building for learning. I think, I think the word is school. <laughs> werewolf circus. Good there with 100% less werewolves. Hey, Sparky, how you doing? You good? I think you finished the first round of surgery. Um, you look pretty, you look pretty good, to be fair. Installed power claw. What's that? What's the damage on that then? Why can I not just see from here? Why have you got to make me do this? Uh, 11, just 11. Okay. Clawed hand. Can't see that one. That would be illegal. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's gone up. 11 point, uh, 16 point, what the hell? 16.11. <laughs> little training. And maybe you won't be so unbelievably shit. Tribar died. I think it was in the hospital. Tribar, you bitch. For God's sake, where did he die? Oh, for fuck's sake, I built a special room for paneling pods, and now they're in the bloody... <gasps> you destroyed my bed, and you destroyed my connector. God damn you, Teslov. Let's not forget that sweet precious Anne is all the way up to Duke slash Duchess, which I believe is the highest default rank, right? 56 on 189 total. She's already blown past that because of all these other quests that we've taken on. All she needs for her next rank is a grand chair. Now, I'd like to float a suggestion here. Uh, how about we just replace all of these pews with grand chairs? You know, some of them to sit in. That looks like shit, doesn't it? That looks even worse. <laughs> how am I going to do this? I think we go like this. I think we go like this. That way, nobody has their back towards end. They, have, they don't have their back towards the throne. This can be for, let's say, for example, I don't know, Lilo and, and a Valkyrie and friends want to turn up. Valkyrie can sit in the big chair at the top, the head of the table, and the others can just sit around and they can they can watch and give a speech or whatever it is they do here. What do they do here? I hope you're sitting down and I hope you're prepared because there has been a controversy in Discord. I know, I know. In other news, the sky is blue and grass is green. Not that I would know. I don't go outside. Tomboy. Sw precious sweet tomboy. People think that I have lobotomized her. They think I've turned her into a puppeted meat sack, an extension of nothing but Anne. Not only does that have disturbing connotations, given the, the love stuff. She kept her social skill, right? Did she keep her social skill? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I did lobotomize her. <laughs> oh. So, um, it's been suggested that, and if, if this goes wrong, and Tomboy turns into a pile of ash, you can blame the people complaining. She's wiping a rod. Did you see that? I mean, if there's ever a time to be wiping your rod, it's possibly before you are accidentally executed. We're going to click the sever connection button. Now, in theory, now this is this is the theory that's been posited to me. Because she is deathless, she will, again, in theory, not die from, from this situation. My argument is Bazrota was also deathless. And he died when he was shot through the brain. I think this will kill her, but if it kills her and her body doesn't disappear or anything like that, we could try and resurrect her through other methods. We could do a world tour to try and find a resurrector mech serum. Because it does feel a bit weird that she's just... She's like Anne, 
She's just like, and controlling her. Best case scenario, we cut this bot and she falls over and then she gets back up in a few days after death rest. Worst case scenario, we go find a resurrected max serum somewhere. Bollocks. What do you mean quest failed though? Oh, Tomboy's Dame Ceremony. Oh, well, that's fine. She has instantly started rotting. Which might cause us some problems. Actually. What if I just, like, bring her back? What if I just, like, bring her back, though? Oh, you can't resurrect her. Oh. Oh, God. This wasn't my fault. I'm not taking the blame for this one. Mm, has he fixed the character assassination yet? Yes. Yes, I have. I'll show you character assassination. <laughs> I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to put her... I can't even put her back in the sarcophagus. Here we go. I'm going to put her back in the... Oh, she was already assigned because it was where she died before. I'm going to put her in the sarcophagus in the freezer so she doesn't rot much more. Not that I think it matters. And then we're going to bury her. And whatever's left of her will be preserved until we can find a better way to resurrect her. Mona's probably going to be quite upset that Anne tried to do mad science on her lover. But you know what? Again, Anne can just say, don't blame me. It was Discord. It was the geniuses over in Discord. Bollocks. Oh, come on. The Stellar Inquisition. They're looking to kill or capture Zen due to torture. You've sent one 16-year-old armed with two knives. Wow. I'd like to see you try. How you doing there? Nice to see you. Welcome to the colony. Oh. Well, that's that problem solved. Then the rabbit steals your lunch. Really is insult to injury, isn't it? Sorry, what is the DPS of a thrombo these days? Uh, it's, yeah, 6.88. I thought it was. That's what we need for Bass Roto's top hat. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> I feel so bad if Bazaroto died again with a bulletproof top hat. I'd like to see them try. It's just the standard weaving too. There's complex weaving and it supports like a bunch of mod stuff. So like Sky Steel from Alpha, whichever, whichever. I'm so sorry, Sarge. <laughs> whichever one of the Alpha mods answered. That's like, well, there's like a hundred of them. How am I supposed to remember that? There's like bees, animals, mechs, and as magical animals too now. Hello. It's bloat. He's been hanging out with Oscar too much. That's the problem. The good guys, by the way. Don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Let's actually see what they've got here. Just got to keep enough to be able to... Just got to keep enough resources to be able to glue... I don't know. Power arms onto the werewolf. What am I doing? Remember I was like, oh, we got to get Anne up to high Stellark. And here I am. Sure, I can't exactly go any faster. You want to know the worst part? You want to know the saddest part of everything? I bought... Somewhere in these piles and piles of limbs, if I can find it, something special. Something special that I was going to have Mona give to... Oh, you know what? Let's just let's just search for it. Out here. This is your fault, by the way. I bought an anima heart. And I was going to have Mona give that anima heart to my good friend, Tomboy. Now she's dead. Now she's dead and rotten. <laughs> I mean, I can still go with the heart, I suppose. For the worst, worst part, I just wasted a shitload of skulls building a bloody throne for someone who's dead and buried. So thank you for that. Thought where better to put Tomboy's throne than where she spends 90% of her time? The prison. It's kind of her domain. And more importantly, it connects up to Mona's throne room. See, it was all so nice. They had such a good life. Who cares that it was a flesh puppet, a meat puppet, c controlled by the, 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 the extension of her mother? doesn't matter okay that's not relevant and i would buy a resurrect to make serum but the whole planet's just kind of collapsed into a black hole again why does this keep happening who keeps putting these stars out it's very bizarre oh my god finally york the little tiny alcohol fuel beaver can finally go it wasn't me it was like that when he got here. How dare you suggest I do something as irresponsible as leaving alcohol in my hospital but how did you even get to that because it had paralytic abasia. Did somebody feed the beaver alcohol? <laughs> I've only just pieced that together. Oh, that's monstrous. Oh, dear. I presume it's not going to impact the quest. Giving them back like a brain damaged beaver. No, they're good with it. They're actually quite happy with it. There you go. Hey, problem solved. Do we get anything new? Oh, man, it's a shame that these quests take so bloody long. Shuttle arrives in uh, 7.6 days. So we're halfway through this one. And then we've got another... What is it? Eight days. We've got another two days before all of our colonists come back. I really like Tomb back because this shit's taking ages to build. Okay, look. I've sent Anne to uh, 
every settlement on the face of the planet looking for a resurrected mech serum. We're not going to find one. I'm going to be honest. We're not going to find one. We're going to have to wait for an exotic goods trader. I've gone to all the Imperial settlements, working my way around the Outlander Union. I've checked every bloody exotic ship that's turned up. This is going to take a while, okay? Also, I know what you're thinking. Oh, you can't use Resurrect Mech Serum on a rotten body. I play with a mod that prevents that. I, I play with a mod that makes it so you can just use them on anything. And yeah, I, I know it's for balance purposes. Hey, you know what else you need to be working on for balance purposes? Not sending me 600 mechanoids in about five minutes flat. Oh, well, I mean, it's not Resurrect Mech Serum, but that's the first death rest capacity serum I've seen. Well, somebody in the comments dared to say... Surely just remove some of the machines in Anne's bedroom, given that they don't all stack. And to answer that, no. That's it. I didn't really have much of a point there. What was she doing? Go, like, go to sleep? That did say feeding on Oscar. Did you see that? My god, it only takes her 13 hours to death rest. Oh, shit. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I've started work on what I can only describe as uh, Bo Woman's death rest chamber. It's going to look amazing. All I need is another 9,000 slate along with 40,000 work, infinite patience, and then enough steel to finish off all these obelisks, which are purely just decorative. The problem is, I need some power. And um, I don't really fancy running a power cable all the way up around these stupid fucking caves I've dug. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> uh, oh, God. This is going to take so long. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I've traded with a dozen people. Uh, so, I mean, if you... Oh, I mean, it's right there. It's easy. I was about to say, just give me a Resurrect Mech Serum and uh, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> That's some bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we flew to like seven different settlements looking at that friggin' thing. I almost feel like it's the first one I've seen all g Good God. Hello. As or resurrect or mech serum. I feel like that's the first one I've seen all game. But I haven't exactly been looking for them because we haven't exactly needed them. Ironically, I've got a resurrected deathless colonist. I be saving this resurrect and mech serum for say Anne getting shot like Baz Rota was. Yeah, definitely. Do I think Anne would be willing to give up that resurrect and mech serum for Mona's happiness? Yes. I think at this point, yes, she would. And I mean, it's not as if Tomboy's gonna die again, huh? How's she looking? Is she okay? Dementia, which is uh, a bit of a problem, but we can solve that eventually. Resurrection sickness. And she kept her psychic bomb with Mona. Well, that's got to be jarring, huh? I think a trip in the Biosculptor pod will cure the dementia. So we'll slap down a couple of those and we'll give it a go. If not, keep an eye out for a healer mech serum, I guess. And would you look at that right and cue the rest of the colony back up on their feet? Whoa, how's my skeleton army? 169, nice. I should turn this into the art gallery. Oh, I really should, shouldn't I? So, glorious opportunities coming up. We've got our 24 honor, potentially, for being able to invite people over. Why does that not count? You need a free bedroom that satisfies the site requirements of Volca and Tiberius. Oh, interesting. Who is Arch Count Tiberius? That's somebody who's coming to visit. Who in the fuck is Arch Count Tiberius? Royal bed, end table. Dresser, drape, no work facilities, 40 cells. Oh, so we've actually got that. We just need to put down a royal bed. And I, I think this should count. Okay. Well, that should solve it instantly. So we can invite them tomorrow. That'll let us jump up another rank, I think. But I mean, given that we've already got one on the back burner, why not accept it right now? I think, again, this is the highest base game rank. So I think that's a pretty good milestone to get. <laughs> These originals are getting more and more esoteric, aren't they? <laughs> Normous Pharaoh Bowman back there. A gigantic wolf stood behind the bestower. Oh boy, became Dame? Oh, it just came back. No, no, no. no. Then she came back because she came back. Because she was d dead, remember? Kind of the whole point of the last four hours of my human life. Ooh, honorable bestowing ceremony. Very nice. Three more honor. And there she is, Duchess of the Shattered Empire. Anything different? I don't think we actually have to fulfill anything different with that, right? Got maxed everything else from the get-go, so I think we're I think we're good here. We've got the dresser, we've got the end table. Good god above. The next rank for Archduchess is 80 honor. We're at 31 right now. To be fair, that quest will get us the majority of the way there, so that's not actually too terrible. Shit, we are nowhere near High Stellark. Wow, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even close. <laughs> Count is the highest in the base game? Oh, shit. Maybe we just fly away now then. Sod it. We're done. 
See you all later. Okay, maybe not. But I'm not sure I've got the attention span to go all the way up to High Stalag. To put it into perspective here. Hang on. Let's put this into perspective. We've currently got a total of uh, like 189 on or slightly more than that. Like uh, 100 and something, I'm sure. 115 on our item. I can't figure out. It's 5 a.m. Leave me alone. We need 1,200. So we're talking like a factor of 10 greater than what we've already earned. And this has taken roughly 800 episodes. How else am I going to do for effectively... This is going to be like a 200 episode series. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's career suicide. Now that I have a tremendous perspective on things uh, and, and the experience of getting to this stage in the first place, I think I need to have a think. Because that could be quite uh, an intense experience, suffice to say. I've learned my lesson from previous series. I don't just want to stretch things out to hit an arbitrary goal. I've done that with previous series and it's gotten quite stale. Certain animal collection museums maybe, maybe i'll i'll do some brainstorming in the comment section maybe i'll maybe i'll have a look read your feedback and we'll see where we go from there um i'm certainly not going to kill it like tomorrow or anything like that but i i you know i, I try and not go too long with the series because i like to keep things fresh honestly for me i'm sure some people would watch 200 series but i like go uh, seeing other things i'm already so massively behind on mods for god's sake <laughs> genuinely seriously let me know what you think no memes let me know what you think, and I will, uh, I'll consider a lot of things, you know, even if there's a way we can maybe inject a, a newness to it, but when I've built a base so expensive and massive, and we've got the xenotypes collected, I mean, the vanity projects, even that, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the end of, right? I'm probably not going to build a thousand skeletons, although maybe by the time I actually got up to high stellar, I could, I'm not sure, I'll think about it. Thank you to Meepsicle, Deck Effect, Jinxy Cat, Bill Sasparilla, Emily, Adikos, Sautrungtai, Nephin, Jose Asala, Texas Yardbird, Thomas Law, MK Sky, Nightshade Vixen, Sherlock, Alspar, Taco Cat, Plasma Wolf, Silver, Matt Lewin, Rage Dragon, RX Galupo, Michael Nichols, and Swifties Theory for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you. Apologies. It's uh, half past 5 a.m. So apologies if I mess anybody's names up. Well, I, need to, I need to record a little bit in advance so I can finally get this new office done because it's been hanging over me like a sword of Damocles. Except instead of dying, it would just be not being able to work very well. This room's very warm over the last few days. Thank you to Safati. Betamus Max, Tenacious Bloom, Ravioli Lad, Emerald Beam, Cast the Red, Big Sawaro, Nightlock Velda, Stormcrow, and Nate Asim, H, Thromash, L, Chalupa Cobra, and Kuz as well. Join me once more tomorrow for Rim Rim. Do not ever complain to me about character assassination again. Oh, and I forgot to execute Oscar. Ah, that's for tomorrow. <laughs>